you always have to think ahead about your rushes. Your rushes represent every hour of your work, every penny that you've spent. They are the most valuable thing that you could ever imagine and you've got to treat them with ultimate respect. And that means making copies whenever you can and also um, locking them away, maybe sending them home, uh, but making sure that they're backed up so that you don't lose them. And when you're in situations where you're in a real hostile environment and something's happening and that you could get stopped by the police, you need to have contingency plans. Where are you going to put your rushes? What are you going to do if your rushes get seized? I filmed an eviction in Cambodia where the Cam Cambodian government um, were clearing a slum and bulldozed it, set fire to it in the middle of the night. They didn't want journalists there. And it was very dramatic and very visually striking. And we were turning over for many, many hours. And uh, my director, in fact, uh, gave me the rushes that we had and I put them in my underwear. We'd thought about this beforehand. I kept them in my underwear. And in fact, this was in the days of tapes, not cards. So I had some very bulky underwear with about uh, four tapes in it. But we were stopped by the police and they did ask us what we were doing. And my director was able to give them um, a tape that he still had, which had some GVs in it, which was a tape that we were prepared to lose. And this is something that other colleagues that I know have done. I know somebody who was filming in China and, and was detained and always carried a, a card of GVs in his sock so that if he was ever asked to pass over whatever was in his camera, he could just do some fancy footwork and, and get this card out. Um, so, yeah, they're your precious babies, your rushes. You don't want to lose them. You need to think about what's in your computer, what's in your phone. Would you mind if authorities read what was in your computer or your phone? If so, you need to look into encryption and how you can store things safely. Even in countries uh, that weren't particularly dangerous countries that I was going to, I would always email my notes to myself and then download them when I had arrived because I didn't want to have to explain myself when I was going through customs. You need to think, think ahead about things like that. How can you blend in and not draw attention to yourself?